All right, update for everybody. Um, so I successfully merged uh, color change uh, with my dual lockup mod, um, and uh, did a bunch of testing. Um, so we got some stuff to show. So um, first one here, this is my uh, unstable blade, um, and it has the dual lockup activated. Which, what that dual lockup is essentially is there's two lockup modes. There's a main lockup mode, which would be if you, you know, crossing sabers, it'll have a localized lockup. Um, but then there's a second lockup mode that's called block, um, which would be like blocking force lightning. Um, you can use it for whatever you want, but I typically use it for force lightning blocks. Um, and that creates the force lightning effect. Um, so I'll show both that. So this is probably the absolute biggest style I could think of. Um, so this is my unstable blade, uh, and it has 12 colors on it. And essentially, because of the way I make my unstable blade, there's actually uh, four different colors at any given time. So there's uh, 12 color mixes by four, so it's 48 uh, color options plus the localized lockup, plus the force lightning lockup. Um, so the code is huge and it still runs fine. So uh, I'm really happy with that. So here it is. So that's my unstable blade effect. And then we've got localized lockup. We've got force lightning lockup. And then now we have color change. So orange, yellow, and again they all have localized lockup built in, force lightning lockup. I'll just run through these. Uh, there's a couple different green mixes. So cyan, and again. sky blue. I think that's the Dodger blue. Regular blue. That's a purple. And that's either pink or magenta. I think that's pink. And then back around to red. Um, so works fine. I haven't had any issues even with the size of this style. Um, so that's great. And then um, essentially I've started calling this enhanced color change. Um, and the reason for that is it's not really just color change. It actually can change effects. Um, so I'll kind of show a few examples here. So on top of being able to just build as many colors as you want within a preset and change through them, you can also change the actual effects within a preset. So I've got just a red audio flicker here. And then I've got, um, oh no, this is, I'm sorry, this is another color um, change one. Uh, so I just built this out. What this does though is just for an example, you don't have to have the same number of colors in each setup either. Um, so I skipped one already, but essentially um, I made different color blades, but I only made three blast colors. So there's a red, a white, and a blue. Um, and what that does is it lets you actually combine um, to get different combinations. So here for this one, that'll be a yellow with a white blast. Then I've got a green yellow with a red blast. I've got a green with a blue blast. A darker green and then this will be the white blast again and it'll just keep cycling through so if I have, in this case, 12 colors on the main blade, but only three on the blast color, it'll just rotate through one through three, back to one, and then for the main blade, it'll roll one through 12, back to one. Um, so you can actually come up with multiple combinations. You can also do this within style. So you can have an audio flicker with 12 main colors, but only four or five secondary colors. And what that'll do is it actually, every time around, you'll actually get new mixes of colors. Um, so the possibilities are endless. I mean, the amount of customization you could do is great. And then this is the mix of effects. So um, you don't have to change the whole blade either. So here I've got a gradient blade where the, I want the white to have a uh, the base to have a white flicker, and then I want the rest of the blade to change color. So I just build out that style, and now the base will stay the white for me, and the rest of the blade will change. And I only did red 
blue and green on this, but you can do, again, as many colors as you want, as few colors as you want. And then lastly, I use the same font for everything. I've got completely different styles all built in. So this is uh, just a regular rainbow gradient. And then I've got a three color gradient. And then I've got an audio flicker. And then I think that's the random per LED flicker. And that's another random per LED. That one's washing out. Uh, it's a white mix in there. And then I've got a flame blade. And then back around. Um, so you're not limited just to one effect. You're not limited to one color. You're not limited to anything. It's actually whatever you can think of. Um, so that is color change. So I just wanted to demonstrate that. And then as if I don't have enough, I've actually built a second uh, color changing option. And this one uh, I'm calling uh, Enhanced Color Scroll with or Demo Mode. Um, and what that is... <laughs> musical effect. Um, so Color Scroll works just like Color Change, but it has a second mode, which allows you to go into a scrolling or demo mode. Um, and that also fully customizable. Um, you can do as many colors or styles as you want within the preset. And you also can set how long you want each style to display. Um, so let me show that. So I've got just a regular red one here. So I just made a mix of colors. It's got regular color change, which also does effects. But then if I hold aux and twist the blade, it actually goes into a scroll mode or a demo mode. Now this is on a short scroll. Um, so what that means is it's going to cycle through and keep cycling through all of the color scroll you set up. Then, if you want, at any time, you can actually pick it up. If you hold power and press aux, it will stop at that style. So you can use the scroll mode to scroll through all of your colors. Instead of having to click each time, you can actually let it scroll and then stop it. Um, and then a second use for that is if you're the type who likes to display your saber or if you're maybe you know at a convention or somewhere and you want to show it um, you can set a longer uh, display time uh, and use it as a true demo mode so uh, this one here again you'll always have the regular color change but then if I wanted to go into a longer demo mode again I hold aux and twist and this one has a longer display time for each one, and I'm just running through a bunch of different types of styles, and I can show off everything. You can have this sitting out at home, you can have it sitting on a table somewhere, and then if you want, at any time, you can pick the sleeper up, and I can go with that color, and it'll run. And then you can also re-enter demo mode as many times as you want. So right there on that blade, and then I will pick up, oops, and it goes right back into demo mode. And there's a parameter for time, uh, which you set in that style. Um, so within color scroll, you'll define the time in milliseconds that you want each color to display. And it'll just keep running until you stop it. You can also jump out of uh, the, the color scroll with a regular color change, but it'll advance to the next one on the list. So it just skips over to the next one. So if you wanted the main one, you would use the select mode, which is holding power and pressing aux. If you wanted to skip to the next one because you memorized it, you would hold aux and press power. Um, but that is the new color scroll uh, demo mode uh, that I've built. Um, so, so lots of stuff in the works. Um, I'm finishing up the color scroll code, uh, just beating it up a bit. And then uh, my next plan will be to do some beta testing. And I'm going to work with uh, Matt McGreary on that, uh, SA22C, uh, to help me with the beta testing since I'm new to that. Um, and then eventually this will get into a fork and it'll be available for everybody. Um, so definitely more to come. Uh, I've got a lot done. I still have more to do, uh, but hopefully, uh, everybody enjoys this.